In this video, I'm going to react to retired AFL hardman, Byron Pickett. Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. This is the place where I react to music, media, sports, anime, anything related to popular culture, I'll watch it with an open mind and give you my 100% honest reaction to it. And if you could please smash that like button early, I'd really appreciate it. So, Byron Pickett, this is gonna be an interesting one. He is what is referred to as, or what I've been told is, or have learned is, a enforcer. So he was an AFL enforcer. So based on my knowledge of other sports, such as uh, ice hockey now and, and rugby and, and British football, teams usually have enforcers to kind of uh, not allow their teammates to be picked on, essentially. They're meant to be the go-to guy. If things get rough and tough, the guy who's going to be relied on to step up and not take any shit from the opposition. I wasn't really aware that AFL had these types of players. And in other sports, particularly in ice hockey, it seems to be that these types of players are somewhat disappearing from the game. I think maybe in an attempt to make the game more appealing to overseas countries that may not really relate to the concept of uh, a fighting man being in the team. The role of the enforcer seems to be disappearing from sport. So it's always cool for me to run across one of these old school types of players. You know, I find it appealing. Like I like tough guys, you know. In Arsenal, the, the, the team that I've supported since I was a child, when I was young, for a long time, we didn't really have that kind of player that would step up and be there for his teammates. And, you know, I think your team definitely loses something in not having that. I think teams need to have players that can be relied on to, to step up and, and not take any crap from opposition. So this is going to be a good one. This is my reaction to retired AFL hardman Byron Pickett. Mate, look at him, he's straight in there, scrappy. Just get off me, get off me. Just throwing guys around. <laughs> Mate. Woo. Man, look at him, he's just... He is a destroyer. This guy is scrappy, man. Oh, that was a stiff arm. He is God. Oh, man, yeah. This, oh, this guy puts himself in a, a hundred percent, right? <laughs> yeah, he, he, once he gets his arms around you, he does not, he's not, oh man. Man. I think that's his favorite move when he grabs onto you and he kind of spins and throws you to the floor. Oh. Yeah. I can't imagine getting thrown to the ground by him feels good at all. I wonder how many dislocated shoulders he's got on his resume. <laughs> Oh man, that was a shoulder straight to the chest. So this guy played for three clubs, didn't he? He played for three clubs in the AFL. Let me know if I'm wrong. Did he win any grand finals? And I'm guessing, is he a defender or a midfielder? Because I don't think he scored many goals in his career. Oh man, he just smashes into players, man. Boom! Boom! <laughs> this guy is not to be trifled with. He doesn't look that big, but man, it's not the size of the, do of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog, man. Oh. 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 
face. That back elbow to the face. Closing down balls. This guy's all action. Oh, that can't have been fun, taking that kick to the head. Oh, pain. Look at that. Bang, bang, bang. This bloke is a machine. Wow, man. That guy was a machine, man. He was a tank. Like, he can't have been more than maybe six foot, six foot one, maybe. But God, when he goes into you, he puts every ounce of muscle and energy he's got. Like, those shoulder barges, they look horrible. And when he wraps his arms around you and he kind of spins himself to generate momentum and he flings you to the ground, that can't be fun to feel like oh yeah like i mentioned in the in my in the video i reckon he's probably dislocated a fair few shoulders not not his shoulders the opposition because he just flings guys to the ground and they just land heavily on their arms yeah this this guy was a he was a tough motherfucker man he was a tough mofo wow Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and turn on bell notifications. And please throw recommendations my way. Um, the more the merrier, they make for better quality videos just because if there's something that you enjoyed, chances are I'm gonna enjoy it too. So like, subscribe, turn on bell notifications, keep throwing recommendations and I'll catch you in the next one.